Okay, good morning. I'm Trooper Bain, the Troop L P I O D A V I D B E O H M. I am happy to report that all nine of the escapees from last night were picked up uh, within the last two hours. I'll just give you a little rundown. We had four of them at around quarter to six this morning go to a house on Oak Grove Road, basically banged on the door. They were done. They were tired. They were cold. We went there, took them into custody. Then at 636 this morning, we had a report of a stolen vehicle and a trailer at 202 Oak Grove Road. Our people were right there. They got into like a sort of a pursuit with this vehicle and got the vehicle stopped at Furnace Road in Mounts Road, where they took four into custody in the pickup truck. One took off in the field, taken into custody shortly thereafter. So now we have all nine of them are in custody and they're not out there anymore. Were any actively resisting arrest? No. The four basically gave up because they were cold. Uh, the, other the other five, I mean, no. What happens to the boys now? So they'll all be charged with escape and any other charge. Uh, we had the criminal mischief for the, the car I told you about before, right? The car they tried to get in. Um, those, we have to put them there, but they will be charged with cri any crimes that they committed, they're going to be charged with, whether it's stealing the truck, all going to be charged with escape. Do you know how the truck was stolen? Were keys left inside? That I don't know. After the four leads to the five, do they talk about the five? All kind of in the same area. All that stuff with the with the car when they broke the window to try to get the car, that's kind of all right in the same area. Can you describe the condition that you found the boys in? Well, I, I saw two of them when I was leaving because our command post was at Abraxas, and uh, they're really dirty looking, and they look like they probably have been out walking in the woods since 8 o'clock last night. I think both of them came in without any footwear, but their footwear were slides. So they looked pretty weary looking and dirty. Trooper, can you, can you elaborate on what extra effort, what extra cost? I'm not asking for a dollar amount, but when people escape as they did over the last two weeks and as they did this morning, what kind of extra effort, manpower, cost does it put on the state troopers in order to bring them back in? Well, I mean, we're going to do what we got to do. We had a whole group of folks that were coming in this morning to start at 7 o'clock. And, of course, we had to cancel them. And that come from all around. That just doesn't come from right here in Truefell. That comes from everywhere. Is there any chance that schools reopen with them all being caught, or is that going to make people crazy? Uh, I, I don't know that they would do that, but I can't answer for that. Do you know if there was a change in tactics just based on the fact that these were kids, juveniles, uh, compared to the Cavalcante search and knowing that they weren't homicide suspects or anything like that? Well, some of them did, like I said earlier, have some interesting um, charges. So we have to look at anybody that's taken into custody and are in custody when we go to apprehend them. Could, could one of those teenage boys kill a cop? They absolutely could. So we're always high alert. It doesn't matter how old they are, I guess is what I'm but saying. But none of them, as far as you know, have gotten any access to any, anything else while they were out there? No, the no. Nope. About how far were they from the actual detention facility? Uh, about four miles-ish. Not far. Are they going back to the detention center? Or do you guys take them? Well, so that's a whole thing right now. So we're going we're gonna to interview all nine of them. We'll all be interviewed by uh, our criminal investigative unit at Reading. And then I know there's stuff in the works right now to decide where they're going to go after that takes place. Can you describe that type of detention facility? I think you mentioned it was like a temporary holding place. Yeah, the way I understand it from uh, earlier is that location isn't a place where someone is going to be, say, charged with simple assault and get sentenced to two years. That isn't the place they're going to do that at. There's other places out there. So this is... I don't know. I don't understand the juvenile court system so well, but it's it's like a holding, something holding. Because there are kids from some of the kids even that ran away came from a location where they just weren't 
following the rules, so they take them there and put them somewhere else. This is the second time a riot has broken out in so, the couple months. So, not a riot. Okay. Basically, what happened was they they overtook two of the females to get the keys. Those okay. group of boys. So it wasn't so, a system-wide riot. With no. Other juveniles were correct. Involved. Correct. These nine, these nine specific. Yes, they they were the ones that were involved in it and did their thing. Can you re-explain what you said earlier about um, the first four being taken into custody? You said they knocked on a door. I'm a little bit confused. So they they basically gave up. Okay. Yep, they, on a random person's door or yeah. Yeah, I mean they don't. Have, they have no idea where they're at. Like there, mm -hmm. seven of those kids were from Dolphin County, and I know that uh, all seven were from the city of Harrisburg. Well, let me tell you what; those woods are far cry from the streets of Harrisburg, Philly. Take any city you want: Lancaster, Bethlehem, Allentown, Easton. So, uh, I'm so, not surprised. So they knocked on a random homeowner's door and said, "What we?" Can't I don't know exactly okay. what they said, but I was told that they. They banged on the door because they were cold, and and, and then nine one one was called. Yep. By, I'm assuming yep. the yep. homeowner. Homeowner called immediately. Yes. And how did the troopers determine the people in that truck were the kids? Like, uh, was there a photo on the truck, or like, how did we determine that was them and they didn't escape the perimeter? Because you got well, to them. there's cops crawling all around up there. So what they were wearing would stick out like a sore thumb, yeah. like gray sweatshirt. Um, truck moving at, what time was that? Uh, well, that wouldn't be odd for a truck to be moving about at 6.36 in the morning, but you, you, you know, you, you're, you're more, you're, you're really paying attention to things. If you're in that area where you know these kids or whoever it was just escaped, you're really on high alert. Was it a lengthy pursuit at all? I don't believe it was, no. And did the truck crash? I don't know if it crashed or not. And you may have said this earlier, but what were all the assets that were involved? I heard you mentioned the K-9, you know, where, where did authorities come from? Did they go um, so the K-9, we had K-9, we had uh, drones, and we had some of the municipal police in Berks County had helped us out for a good chunk of the time. And then uh, other state police stations, other than Troop Bell, were there, like in this geographical area, because we have we have the option to make a couple phone calls and we could have people from Philly and all over the place here in a short time. Any estimate number of how many people were working on it overnight? Uh, I would say about 60. Okay. That's Actually, it. Your guys were working last two weeks as well. Yeah. Um, you talk about kind of the stamina after having to do one man hunts and then suddenly again wake up in the middle of the night and now you're looking for nine. Well, yeah, I mean, that certainly is different. I know for myself personally, I figured we'd catch these kids because they're probably not as resilient as a 30-some-year-old, but however old he was, that knows he's going to jail for the rest of his life. I, I, I don't know if 15- to 17-year-olds have the resiliency to want to not have to go back, right? The four of them got cold and banged on the door. They were done. 